What's up YouTube, Kyle here to bring you guys a video on uh, my daily used uh, Gymshark products. So um, I did get these in their uh, summer sale that occurred June or July and I just never owned any of their products before so I did want to give it a try. I also was in the marketplace for um, basically a new backpack so I did uh, pick up a backpack. So this is also going to be a review because review, I've been using this ever since like uh, September I believe. but. So this is their Gymshark The Life backpack. As you can see, uh, it's actually out of the uh, package. It was really nice to look at. I literally thought it was like leather, but it's obviously not made out of leather. I think it's some like, synthetic leather, but product is like, what caught me most was um, basically it was uh, 35 liters to fill it up. And I've never really had any other bag that was bigger than like 25 liters. I had a Herschel. Uh, I kind of have to clean that one up, so that's why I haven't been using it, but I just picked this up. So, let's do a quick review of, like, my time with it. The lighting is, like, pretty bad right now, so. So, it does have this, um, basically this, um, small pocket here, if you can see. That you can put some stuff inside. It's not that spacious itself. But like, it's just like for things such as keys, I put my headphones in there, like my wireless headphones. Uh, I don't really have to worry about here where people pickpocket. Depends where you go, but like, I've never really had any issues in like Toronto, so. So side panel, this um, this uh, what's up, whatever the see-through uh, pocket is. I put my locker in here. Uh, you can also put your water bottle in here. Um, it has actually two, so one one side where you can put your other water bottle or whatever else you can put in there. I also use it. And then it's pretty spacious. I'll try to get that in. It's pretty spacious in there. I can fit a water bottle. The other one I can definitely fit a water bottle in here. I uh, usually put like my battery pack in here. I wouldn't put my phone in there. I always keep my phone in my pocket. But yeah, let's open up the backpack. So it has like three straps. So one over the top, I mean in the middle, the side. And the other side. Get into it. Sorry. Okay, so this is how it looks when it's fully opened up. So it's like really long. It has like elongated, um, uh, basically shape. It looks like basically something where you just toss stuff into, or like a laundry bag type of thing. Yeah, like a more of like a laundry bag actually. But yeah, so you can, like, open it down. Let's see if you can look more at the stuff in there. But you can fit a lot of stuff in there. It's also very, um, it's also very slim, right? So that's, like, one of my issues about it, that it's too slim, so I can't really put too much stuff in there. Uh, I can, but, like, there's stuff where I can, like... I wish I could put more stuff in there, but that's just me because like I put a lot of stuff because like I use that as a school bag, so I still put like everything inside. So there is like a laptop, but there's like a laptop thing here. If I can get it in the light. Yeah, so it's really hard to get out of the light, but there is a laptop sleeve in here. Uh, I don't put my laptop in there. It doesn't fit my laptop's like 14 inches does not fit in there. So I usually just put in like other things such as like um, my deodorant and stuff like that. But why my bag is always full is because I usually put like prep meals for the day, like prep meals, my laptop, uh, like my binder, um, what else? Pencil case, I have my laptop charger and my mouse because like I'm very picky about like having a mouse, like it's just more efficient to have a mouse for my laptop that way. And yeah, that's what it is. There's also a little mesh, a uh, little uh, lighting over here. It's really hard to see because it's dark. But, so there's a lighting in there. We can like also sort through stuff. But the lighting is really bad here. It's really hard to see. But there is a lighting in there. A little pocket in there we can sort of sort your stuff. I usually put like my other headphones in there and like wires. So that is for convenience purpose, but 
Other than that, I really haven't had any issues uh, with the backpack. I've used it in rain. Uh, it gets super soaked. It hasn't gotten through the material because it flaps down like this, right? So it does, it does keep my stuff uh, quite dry. Like, but the water does <laughs> stay on the pack itself. So like, it's, it's definitely, you can tell it's like super wet, but just like, you can just wipe it off. It's not like it's canvas where it sticks on. You, you literally just have to wipe it off. So that is the good part about the bag itself, but yeah. Let's get on to the other details of the bag. So I'm not really fond of the straps. The straps are okay, but like they do, right? But the price point I got for, I think it retails for like 50, no wait, no, no, no. It's like 70, 80 Canadian, if, if I'm right. I haven't looked at the price. Like for the price point, it was it's a really good bag for the price point actually. So what I also really like is this Gymshark uh, logo that's in, uh, imprinted at the back. It's like amazing. I love this part. This is like this is literally what caught my eye when I wanted to buy it. I was like, oh, I like that. So I got that, and then um, even like for comfort wise, the padding is actually really comfortable. Um, it's also professional looking when you're carrying around like for me I don't want to carry like some like little boy school like backpack around like especially like when I'm in school I'm like oh, I don't want to carry that type of thing around but yeah that's it for uh, this review let's go on to the jacket that I have yeah okay, so this is a jacket I got this is the uh, summit, summit jacket uh, so basically it's like a fishtail type of jacket so it has like an elongated um like long um so its length is really long it doesn't reach all the way to your knees but it's pretty sufficient it keeps me warm um basically you can only find this right now it's not on the canadian part of the site i found it on the united kingdom one but i never ordered it from there i believe i ordered from the states one i don't think the states one has it either i think it's just sold out on the states ones because it's this jacket's actually super nice looking uh i remember uh seeing it at like 50 percent off i picked it up right away it was like 150 cad and i was like okay whatever like for 75 i'll take a jacket right so i picked it up uh xl sold out i did want to get xl just because i'm on the bigger side but um large prints pretty fine um all you have to do is like technically lose some weight and uh basically it'll fit nice because it fits like slim so it makes you look super fit so it's actually really uh dope that way but um warmth wise uh for canada i specifically um it's definitely super warm during like fall season i think um uh wore it i think i wore it yesterday at negative six and i was okay I wouldn't push to like negative 10, but I was also wearing like uh, uh, like a really warm turtleneck yesterday. So I think that's why I can wear it, but like definitely for fall. This would be like my fall rain jacket type of thing. It looks really nice. Um, people have been commenting, it looks like a goose and I'm like, oh, it's actually not a goose. And like, <laughs> but yeah, I can basically show you guys uh, on the fitting. So I'll do a fitting after. Uh, so on the sides of the jacket, it has these long uh, pockets. This lighting is really bad. <laughs> but the pockets inside fit a lot. So it goes from here all the way down to like the bottom part-ish or to like a good extent. But it has two pockets like that. There's no like inside pockets, which is like the downside. Um, opening it up. Opening it up, you see Gymshark, the little logo over there. It's really hard to see in this lighting because I think mean, home is not that good. But for the quality, it's really good. Um, this is, you can see, like the fish tail type of like look that has it. doesn't have the strings at the bottom, but it does have the fish tail thing on it. It's the filling is not thick so like i said not for like canadian ones here good for fall like you'll be like good in fall just because it's super warm 
There is actually one pocket in here. It's actually not too big, but like it's sufficient. I usually put my headphones in there. Um, I put my headphones a lot in, in a lot of places. But, yeah. but we can get into the fitting. Okay, so this is how long the jacket is. It doesn't go all the way to my knees, but it's a good way amount down. Like it's about halfway down. The jacket itself opens up like this, and it's actually really nice, as you can see. It's nice, warm, and comfortable. Uh, my fit doesn't really look as good. I think for this type of fit, I'd have to wear boots, just because like these uh, pants are really standard fit. They're so they're super like baggy, and I think they only look good on the high tops. So I'm gonna change these pants. And yeah, <laughs> but if you guys want to see more content, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll provide more. So, peace.